731 right now and the number of new COVID cases across the city four times higher now than they were back in March, which is prompting health officials to raise the alert level to medium in early March. Look at this. There were 600 cases per day, but the latest numbers show that nearly 2500 new cases a day are being reported, which could mean a return of some restrictions. Listen. I'm not here to stand here and say we're looking at shutdowns. I have said I'm going to protect the health of New Yorkers, encourage people to get vaccinated. I say to New Yorkers, uh, let's take necessary uh, precautionary steps, wear your mask, uh, get vaccinated, get boosted, and we can weather this storm. Obviously, there's a lot to talk about here. We're joined by the New York City Health Commissioner, Dr. Ashwin Bassan. So, Dr. Bassan, welcome to the Pixel Morning News for your first appearance here live. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. So, doctor, I do want to get to the COVID stuff, but there is huge news that broke late last night. Um, the pandemic is obviously on everybody's mind, but also women's health is a big issue this morning. What are your thoughts here as the city's health commissioner on that leaked draft opinion that shows the U.S. Supreme Court may be close to overturning Roe v. Wade? What does that mean for the rights of women here in New York? Well, you know, reproductive rights and women's rights are a cornerstone of public health. And so as a public health leader, as a physician, as someone who takes care of in his primary care practice, a, a, a lot of reproductive age women, I know how important it is for women to be able to make choices about their own health and their own bodies in the same way that any of us get to make choices about our bodies and our own health. And so very concerning um, as a public health physician, uh, very concerning as a as a leader. And, um, you know, I'll be watching that process carefully. Also very concerning, of course, that um, the opinion uh, leaked in this way. And so, um, yeah, uh, just concerning yeah. all across the board. Yeah, and the mayor put out a statement last night saying this is a potential assault on the freedom by right wing extremists cannot stand. We're ready to fight like hell. And the governor, Kathy Hochul, said for anyone who needs access to care, our state will welcome you with open arms. Abortion will always be safe and accessible in New York. You anticipate nothing changing here in New York? We're going to do our best to make sure nothing changes here in New York because, as I said, reproductive rights and women's rights is the cornerstone of public health and the cornerstone of you know our uh, the way that we live here in New York and the way that we've lived here in this country. For Understood. All right, Dr. Fasan, thank you for addressing that right off the top. But obviously, you came on here to talk about the fight against COVID. And, and yesterday, you raised the alert level from low to medium. I guess the first question is how, doctor, are we back at this very moment after numbers were trending so low? Well, look, I mean, I think we, we've talked about the presence of the new variants, the BA.2 variant, which we know um, is more transmissible than the original Omicron variant, but in no way causes more severe disease, which is encouraging. But that's part of why we're seeing an increase in cases. We're also seeing New Yorkers return to their everyday lives mm -hmm. and get, go to gatherings and go to uh, social mixing. And so that's also, you know, raising the level of cases. But, but our message to New Yorkers is go about your lives, but do so safely. Mask up in indoor settings, in all indoor settings. Get tested at frequently, especially before going to gatherings. Get treated if you test positive by calling your doctor or 212 COVID-19. And especially if you're eligible for a booster or yeah. if you haven't gotten your primary series, go get vaccinated today. Now is exactly the right time. You know, doctor, are these numbers in fact accurate, right? Could they be even higher due to people taking those at-home tests? Those are so popular now that they are not accurately counted unless someone actually calls the health department and says, hey, look, I tested positive. Well, look, I think we're in an environment where we're glad to have those at-home tests to allow New Yorkers who do test positive to make safer decisions, staying home, avoiding gatherings, getting treated without ever leaving the confines of their home and yeah. putting others at risk. Right now, we feel comfortable that we we are doing enough testing citywide to have a good um, you know, state of play on the pandemic. And, and we've never captured every single case right. in the city, right? Because we've always had asymptomatic spread. It's the same as you know, you measuring rainfall in Central Park for the whole city, right? It's surveillance. It's not right. about capturing every raindrop. You know, is there a level, Doc, where you would reinstate some restrictions? Yeah, look, we're always reevaluating our policies. Right now, we're not considering that. But 
you know, we're watching these cases every day. We're watching the numbers every day. And, you know, um, everything is on the table. I'll say this, though. I think New Yorkers and Americans have, have come to understand public health as about mandates or not mandates. But actually, we do a lot in public health that's about advice and education and making helping people make safer, healthier, easier choices. Yeah. And we're in this transitional phase, according to Dr. Fauci, and, and we agree. This is about New Yorkers doing what they've done for two years, making safe and healthy choices. You know, let's stay there for a second, because you, you brought that up. Dr. Fauci describing the pandemic as this transitional phase out of the emergency phase, right? And many took that as a great sign, but now we're seeing these numbers go up. At the same time, doctor, that we're seeing things like the Met Gala taking place on the same day that you're raising the levels. So I guess it could get confusing for some folks, right? So what is your best advice and who are you seeing these cases among? Is it mostly unvaccinated? I, I totally understand that this is a tricky time for New Yorkers and you know we're all trying to get back to our lives and to go on with our lives the best we can. And this is about incorporating the many tools we have. Actually, we're in a stronger place than we've been at any other point in this mm -hmm. pandemic incorporating those tools into our daily lives and going on with our lives. Um, you know, I think masking is a really important tool that's not that intrusive yeah. and we can go about our lives. We can do these gatherings, we can do these events and, and keep going on. But it, I understand where New Yorkers are coming from and where people are coming from that this transitional phase is, is tricky. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tricky also because so many folks are, are, are now becoming positive who were vaccinated and who were boosted, right? And so who are you seeing the most cases among? Well, it's, you know, it's, it's hard to tell who the cases are among, but we're certainly seeing the more severe cases consistently as we have across the pandemic right. amongst the unvaccinated. Our hospitalization rate is also climbing slowly, and that's amongst mainly the unvaccinated population, which is why we're still sending the message. If you haven't been vaccinated yet, now is the time to do so because we're trying to get on with our lives. If you haven't been boosted yet, we know that everyone above the age of 12 is eligible for a first booster. We'd like to see those numbers climb yeah. up towards our overall vac vaccination level rates, which are actually quite high in New York. So, um, you know, I think we are seeing that divide. We've seen that divide amongst the unvaccinated. And, and the vaccines I had, we had the mayor on recently, who talked about how the city's still offering them for free, right? Indeed, yeah. you know, obviously we're concerned about the discussions in Washington about federal funding, and we would we really want to want to see Congress authorize additional uh, federal support um, for our public health response. Right now, we're comfortable that we can manage the vaccination capacity across the city and the needs of New Yorkers. But ongoing, as we start to talk about new, you know, when the under five vaccine yeah. comes online and other things. I think we're going to need that federal support, and so we're hopeful that they'll make the right decision. You know, obviously, it's not a time to say let's unmask the children who aren't vaccinated, but a lot of parents are asking once they are approved for that vaccine, do you anticipate taking those masks off in a classroom? And could that happen before the school year is over? We're looking for the first safe opportunity to do that. I think we can all agree, as you as you just said, a time of rising risk and a time of rising cases yeah. throughout the city is not that time. But as soon as we feel comfortable with where we are with the case rates and the pandemic, then um, we will make that decision. And, and Doctor, we're almost out of time here, but I just want to squeeze in one more question because Mother's Day is approaching, obviously, right? And a lot more people are going to be gathering as the weather gets warmer. What is your advice in this time? As we came off the holidays, and some are saying maybe we're seeing the increase because of the holidays, what is your advice in terms of gatherings? Yeah, it's the same as my advice was for Passover and Easter just yeah. a couple of weekends ago. Get tested before any gatherings. Keep your mask on in indoor settings. Get tested after gatherings, um, and and keep your your gatherings safe. But in no way does this mean don't gather. Okay. Please get together with your family. Social connection is so important for our mental health, our physical health. So enjoy Mother's Day. I know I'll be enjoying Mother's yeah. Day as well. Um, please get together with your loved ones, but get tested wear a mask, do so safely. If you can do your event outdoors, that's even better. Um, you know, do this safely. We know what to do. New Yorkers have done the right thing for two years. Understood. Dr. Prasan, thank you, and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in your life. Appreciate you being here, okay? Appreciate you having me. Thank you so much. All right.